Fantastic. Now we'll get to the area of my bazookas. Now it's time to buy a few bazookas at you. Go you ahead. You've been seen by many as waging a war against your country, Nigeria, by seeking a Biafra nation. What led to your decision? Uh, first of all, Nigeria is not my country. I was born a Biafran. My birth certificate reads Biafra, and no one has ever changed that. The fact that I was at some point or the other in possession of a Nigerian passport does not actually confer upon me their citizenship. I saw the Nigerian passport as a mere travel document because my birth certificate issued at the time of my birth reads Biafra. Nobody of the same mind will condone or accept what is happening in Nigeria. I believe that genuine attempts have been made in the past to try to remedy the wreck that Nigeria is today, but there was a palpable unwillingness on the part of the powers that be to do something about it. I detest suffering and pain. I hate to see people suffer. I hate to see people in pain. The only thing that propels me, the only thing that drives me towards this very agitation is not born out of hatred for anybody, but a desire to test freedom in our time. Nigeria was not constructed by a Yoruba man. If it were, I would have perhaps accepted. Nigeria was not created by a Fulani man. If that was the case, who knows, I may accept. Nigeria was not created by a Hausa man either. It wasn't created by a Nupem man. It wasn't created by a Gwari man. Never created by a Jukun man. Nigeria was not created by an Ejo man. Not created by an Ibibio man. Nigeria was created by a white man and named by a white woman. The name Nigeria means awful, bad, evil. It means nigger, which is a swear word. It's a slur in America. If you call, if a white person calls a black person nigger, they might end up in jail then why should I answer a name that is abhorrent before God and before man? Nobody came from all these ethnic groups. They never got together to say, as from today our name should be Nigerian. A white man determined that. I cannot go to England and say to English people, I want to rename Liverpool. I want to give it another name. I'm sure they'll think I'm mentally you know, unstable and put me in jail. Now, the problem is this. Why should Africans accept the name Nigeria? It doesn't mean anything in Yoruba language, doesn't mean anything in Hausa language, doesn't mean anything in Igbo language, but yet we are Africans. So I see it as a relic, or should I say a vestige of racism. I see Nigeria as an abomination, not just before God, but before man as well. Those with common sense, that is the reason why I like Thomas Sankara. Thomas Sankara changed the name from Upper Volta, that had no meaning to Burkina Faso. Now, I wonder why educated, very savvy and enlightened Nigerians cannot see it. You have half of Yoruba land in Benin Republic. Some are in Togo. From, for, for over 20 years, I have been a very vocal advocate of a Yoruba nation that will also encompass the Yorubas in Benin Republic and those in Togo, because they are Yoruba people. Wouldn't that be very wonderful? Why should white people come from Europe and decide uh, that some Yorubas should be to Togolese, some should be from Benin Republic, and some, sh some should be from Nigeria? You're a Yoruba man. What do you have in common with a Kanuri man? Absolutely nothing. But I can tell you, you have something in common with a Yoruba man in Togo. You have something in common with a Yoruba man in Benin Republic. Why should you see a Kanuri man as your fellow citizen in Nigeria? and not a Yoruba man who lives just a stone throw from Badagri. So these are the anomalies that Africans need to sit down to address. That is why we have arrested development. That is why nothing seems to be working. Because the convergence of these diverse value systems from the core Arewanov, from the West and from the East, is making it impossible for Nigeria to function as a viable state. And that is a recognition that we must, at this very point in time, be able to address as educated people. Not that I hate Nigeria. 
I hate the name. I despise it with a passion. If you allow me, I wouldn't exist tomorrow morning. Anybody who answers or addresses him or herself as a Nigerian is a product of neocolonialism, not something that I am prepared to accept because Nigeria never existed until Flora Shaw gave her that name, Nigeria. Before that, you had to do the war. Before that, you had Biafra. Before that, you had Kanan Brown Empire and all these wonderful and wet civilizations. Now, a white man cannot come from Europe and then create an identity for me. Only God in heaven can do that. And I can give an identity to my dog. The only thing you can name are your children and your pets. They are not our fathers. They are Caucasians. We are black Africans. They have no right being in Africa and giving us names. And that I will never, ever accept.